No big deal. Hi, my name is Connor Monahan, and I'm a junior in chemical engineering, and this is our project for an arthritis multi-tool. And I am Austin Hartley, and I'm also a junior in chemical engineering. The issue we're trying to fix is that it is a common issue for a lot of people that either have arthritis or even just elderly people or people with weak grip strength. It can be a struggle for them to open a screw cap bottle, like a soda bottle. And also, it can be hard for them to use a multi-tool like a Swiss Army knife, for example, because it can be hard for them to pull out all of the different sections on a multi-tool. So our goal was to design a simple, e easy-to-use multi-tool that could open bottles and perform other simple functions with a tip of a screw attached to it. So you can do different things like screwing in a screw or any kind of functions that you could connect with the magnet that we'll see you later that's on the multi-tool. This was our first modeling prototype. So we did the 3D modeling in Tinkercad. And so the goal was to have four different plates that would all connect together. So the pegs on the far left plate are the ways that it was all going to connect together by sliding through on the other pegs. So on the far left would be the bottom plate. Then in the middle would be the plate with the second biggest bottle size. And at the end is where the magnet would sit in the little square that you can see. And the hexagon cutout shape is where the screw tip would slide in and connect to the magnet to allow it to stay in and seat it there. To model, we did a slight, there's a slight wall between the magnet and the screw tip. This is to hold the magnet in place. And when you go to assemble it, that you would put the magnet in the square and then put the other plate on top that would hold the magnet all together and it would all stay together. And the circles would stack on top of each other. So any size bottle you have, you would just put into the hole for the circle. This is the actual 3D printed prototype. So you can see the three different size holes to put the bottle into to open it easier because you would have more leverage since you have a bigger surface to grip and also you can grab the end to put more torque onto the ball to open it. On the far left picture, you see the screw tip sitting in. You can't see the magnet because it's already between all of the plates. There was some issues that we found with this model of the corners were sharp because it was a perfect square, so it was sharp corners. The sizing on some of our holes for where the bottle fit in was too big, so it wouldn't fit on some of the on the bottles and be able to open it. It was also hard to hold because it's a square and with the rigid edges, it was hard to get a good grip on it. And so what we decided to do as our second uh, iteration for this and our final iteration for this was to uh, basically make kind of like a magnifying kind of glass shape uh, where we have the rounded part for the bottle opening to basically get uh, be a bigger and bigger circle as you go up in the levels and uh, we decided to make the handle uh, a bit shorter and sleeker and rounded at the edge and so what this allowed is basically just to hold it better and to um, kind of like have the drill bit still be there at the edge, but also be able to use the handle to open the uh, with the bottle opener. And so once this is all put together, uh, it kind of creates a shape that uh, lets you hold it. Uh, and on each side, you can kind of uh, keep moving it along uh, as you're using the screwdriver part, right? And the screwdriver parts, uh, you can interchange it with any other type of bit. You can go to the next, yeah. And so here we have the, the bottle opener actually works uh, at this point. The holes are big enough for uh, the biggest bottles. And so our yeah, you can see our drill bit, uh, and we can show on the next video on the next slide. 
So if you see, uh, see how the screwdriver is, we can kind of grab on to each uh, side or each uh, opposite side as the screwing continues. Yeah, and then so for the biggest bottles, it is still able to open them. So our final results from our project is with the final product, it was a lot more ergonomic to hold because it had the rounded edges and it was a lot easier to hold. It was able to open the different size twist cap bottles and it was much easier to open the bottles as opposed to just trying to use like your fingers and your hand. With the drill bit, we were able to loosen and tighten different types and sizes of screws since you could put any kind of screw bit in there since it's just held in by a magnet. So if you bought a set of screw bits to go on to the end, you could put any different size as long as they fit into the hexagonal hole. And it was the product is very cheap to produce since it's all 3D printed, so it can be produced very easily as long as you have access to a 3D printer. Uh, another thing to mention about this project is the price of it. Uh, just for the 3D printed parts, it only was it was less than two dollars. Uh, the neodymium magnet um, comes from a toy set that is about uh, 30 bucks for 200 ish uh, magnetic neodymium cubes. So that comes out to about uh, 14 to 15 cents per cube. Um, and for our final, uh, product. It was uh, mostly put together. The pegs on it uh, kind of broke off, uh, and so we had to end up using adhesive to make sure it was actually completely together. And so, if that is uh, so, if that becomes a, the part of the final um, product, uh, its cost gets added on. And so, it, but even together, along with all this, is still less than three dollars. While the only product that we could think or we, we could even find to that would be similar enough uh, was this magic opener uh, that you can find on Amazon. And it's, uh, you know, in the range of 30 to 20 bucks at least. Uh, so ours is like much uh, better on the cost effective side and it does much more things. And these are our reference.